Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a short SAS haul. I finally made my way out there. It is the last day of the year when I'm recording this. So it is the 31st of December. So I'm definitely late to the game. I probably missed out on a few things. Um, and today body care was $4.95 instead of $3.95. Um, but don't worry about that because I did not buy any of that body care. I only bought 75% off and they were having a hand soap sale for I believe $3.50. So I got a good deal on hand soaps too because I was completely out of hand soaps. That's like never happened to me before. I'm completely out of hand soaps. So I did get a lot of hand soaps and then I got some 75% off stuff. And I'm gonna show you at the end a little TJ Maxx haul just because I went there right after. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So I did get two full bags. I'm gonna start with the hand soaps that I got because that was really what I was most excited to go for. So I did actually get a few 75% off hand soaps and I got a few that were just 350. Sorry, hand soaps were actually 325 today, my bad. So I did not have any coupons or anything. So I'm just gonna tell you guys the prices of everything that I got, not excluding, not including any coupons. So I did find two 75% off hand soaps and those were each $1.87, such a good deal, under $2 for hand soap. So I did pick up a toasted butter scotch latte from this past fall and then i also picked up a marshmallow fireside i love marshmallow fireside every single fall and winter honestly i don't think i've ever tried the toasted butter scotch latte but it sounds good toasted butter scotch whipped vanilla and a salted caramel drizzle oh my gosh it just smells like salted caramel that's what it smells like honestly but this will be good for next fall um, and for under $2, I could not pass that up. Okay, now onto the 325 soap. I did get white coconut caramel from also this fall. This one is coconut flakes, toasted hazelnut, and caramel swirl. I've already had this one. I know I really love it. So it's a really nice like coconutty caramel scent. It's really yummy. I did pick up a raspberry jam. This one I think was like one of the first collections that came out during the fall this year. So it was like late summer, early fall. This is raspberry, sweet raspberry jam, fresh strawberries, and vanilla cake crumbs. Mmm. Yeah, it definitely smells like, like raspberry cake, kind of. That smells really yummy, so that's a good one. I picked up a tried and true strawberry pound cake. I love this packaging. They had a lemon poppy seed, but it was like destroyed. It had like gunk all over it, and I just like couldn't even, I didn't even want to pick it up. It was so gross. I really wanted the lemon poppy seed one though, but I did get strawberry pound cake, which is a great one, especially like going into spring. I feel like this would be really nice like in February time. So picked up that one. And again, I just love this packaging, it's so cute. And then I picked up two of the ones that came out for SAS. I picked up Limoncello, really great kitchen scent. This one will definitely go on my kitchen sink soon. And then Paradise Coconut, so that I am prepared for the summer. So that's all the soaps I got. I got seven soaps. So I think I did really good, Sought myself up for now for spring and going into summer so and then on to the 75 percent off stuff so i did not find any 75 percent off candles now candles were what were they 12 or 50 percent off that's what they were they're 50 percent off and i did see the marshmallow pineapple marshmallow candle which i know is 75 percent off i don't know if it would ring up at my store but I know it's 75% off, but I just didn't really want it. So I just didn't pick that one up, but they might've had some that were like disguised, but I really just, I wasn't focused on candles, but I did find a single wick candle because they had a few of these on the 75% off table. So I did pick up pumpkin spice latte, tried and true fall scent. This one is pumpkin spice, fresh espresso and whipped cream. Just a great like coffee scent, really nice for fall. And I figured this might also be nice in Ryan's office in the mornings, I think would be really good. And we are about to move. So I might actually get my own office in a room at our next place. So this will be really nice for that office space. Okay, on to body care. So I did get a full set in Champagne Apple and Honey. This was one of the ones that I had my eye on for SAS to pick up 75% off. So I did pick it up. So what I got was, um, two minis for 212. So I did get the little mini body cream and the mini spray. I know I would never finish up a full size spray in one season. So that's why I only got the mini one. 
I definitely think I could finish this off, you know, next fall when I'm using up this whole body care line. But I was like really craving champagne, apple and honey this past fall and I didn't have it. So I wanted to get it for myself next year because I know it's gonna come back out, but why not get it at a really good price? So I did pick up two full sizes in the shower gel and the body lotion, and these were each 337. So I know I will absolutely enjoy these and mm, it is such a beautiful juicy apple scent. So that's gonna be really nice for next fall. Also something in the fall packaging, I got strawberry pound cake for 337 as well, and it is completely sealed. That's really why I wanted to get it. Um, I had my eye on a few strawberry pound cake things and I might get them whenever they go lower in price. Right now, the faceted strawberry pound cake from winter is only 50% off. So I might get it in other formulas later, but for now I did pick it up in a body lotion for real cheap, um, just because I've also been missing strawberry pound cake. I feel like this one would be really nice to use um, this spring going into summer. And I don't know, I've, I've just been craving it. So I picked it up and I also got it in a little um, hand cream as well. And the hand cream was 212. And then the last thing that I picked up for 337 was a full size beach night shower gel. I was really excited to hear when people were saying that they had found this at their store. This was one of my absolute favorite scents of 2022. I'm so happy they brought it back out um, after a really long hiatus, I think from like, 2016, 2017, 2018 was the last time that this had been out. So I was really excited to get to smell it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I already have a full set saved for next, for 2023 summer, but I did pick up another shower gel just to kind of have on hand and to have a backup. It's such a wonderful scent. So just really happy to have this one as another backup. And I got it 75% off, so that was a really good deal. So that's everything from Bath & Body Works. So I did, do really good in restraining myself. I got exactly what I needed, which was a bunch of hand soaps. And then I only got a couple body care items that I really had my eye on. So did really great with Bath & Body Works and total I spent $46.35 including tax. So just under $50 for all that stuff, I think is a really good deal. So that's everything for Bath & Body Works. Now on to TJ Maxx. If you guys don't wanna watch that part, thank you so much for watching. Okay, at TJ Maxx, I really did need to pick up a few things, starting off with the Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. I always buy it at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls because it's just such a good deal. It is $19.99 for the big full size. I use this. I've been using this for about two years now and it's totally gotten rid of my dandruff and my like dry eczema scalp. So absolutely adore this stuff. And I just needed a backup of that. So that is definitely one of the things that I needed. I also needed to replace my razor because I noticed that it was getting moldy. Yeah, okay, that's so gross. So I did pick up a new Flamingo razor. It was really like this part of it um, where it connects like on the razor head. It was gross, so I'm gonna replace the one in my shower. This was $7.99 and I'm happy to get it in pink. I think it's like super cute. So that was also something that I absolutely needed. And then I needed to re-up my um, razor game for my face razors. So I picked up a Japanese set of six for $6.99. I trust this brand, so that's why I picked this one up over just like the regular ones. And then the, everything else was just kind of like spontaneous buy, so. I did get these Timberland boot socks. They're super cute. They're like this like pastel purple with pink and then a cream and they're like really thick. And I am traveling to Colorado for a ski trip um, this year. So I wanted to pick up some more warm socks for that. And these were $7.99. And then I picked up a new Real Technique sponge. I figured I should just pick up a sponge because Every time that I find myself wanting to replace it, I can never find them in stores. So I just went ahead and picked one up as a backup. This was $3.99. And then I got a few clothing items. So this is what I was like really excited to find. I went and looked in the pajama section because I know they have Valentine's Day pajamas out now. And I found the cutest little satin PJ set. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So this was $19.99 from Cupcakes and Cashmere. And it's like this really cute Valentine cookie print. Oh, so adorable. So here's a short sleeve top and then also the little pajama bottoms. I have been loving, I had a pair of these that I got this past year um, for Pride and it's dogs in Pride costumes. It's so cute. And I absolutely adore like the fabric of it. And I like the button down, especially because if I have like a face mask on that night or something and I don't wanna get my face dirty, I can just button it up. So 
I got another set of these beautiful PJs and these are literally my favorite. I'm so excited to have another pair. And then my TJ Maxx has like so much clearance going on right now because it's the end of the year. They're getting rid of all their winter clothes. And so I picked up a few things. I picked up this Calvin Klein top um, for $16, originally 20. But it's just like a super plain work top that I got. Um, it's got little flouncy sleeves and then kind of like a, um, a short v-neck. But I am going on a work trip in January, so I wanted to pick up something to wear for that. So I did pick up this. And then this random top that I found that I thought would be super cute for like date nights or something. So it's this like rosy patterned silky top and it drapes in the front. Super cute. I already tried it on and Ryan says he loves it. I think it would be really adorable to like dress down with some jeans and like heels it would be such a cute outfit. So this was originally 50 and I got it for 32 from the brand Nisa Los Angeles. So that's what that looks like if you wanted to see that. But yeah, just like a random top. I just thought it was adorable. I could have gotten so much more there. They had so many great things, but I restrained myself. I did pretty good. And yeah, so that's everything for my two hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful new year. This will probably go up in the new year. So I hope your January is starting off well. Let me know down below some of the things that you have put on your goals for 2023. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. For me, mine is explore. I want to explore a lot this year. I want to travel and kind of just explore different pathways of self-care and of exercise and things like that. So that's kind of my like theme for 2023, I think, is exploring. But yeah, let me know down below if you have kind of some goals set already for 2023. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say, but that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!